Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to create the seamless typography inside After Effects, so let's get started. Open After Effects and create new composition. Set its width to 2000 pixels. Height to 300 pixels. And hit OK. Right click and create new texture layer. Type your text, and align it to center. Now right click, and create new solid layer. Let's set its color to black. And hit OK. Also place it below this text layer. Now, create new composition. Set its width and height to 3840. And hit OK. Now, drag this comp one into this timeline. Place this time indicator to last frame, and press P, to open position properties, and click on this stopwatch. Now, bring this to first frame, and move its position up on Y axis. Cool. Now, go to Effects and Presets, and search for Motion Tile. And drag it to this layer. Set its tile width and height to 40. Output width to 1000. And output height to 2000. Set its phase to 180 degree. And enable this. Cool. Now, create new composition, let's rename it to main, set its width to 1920, and height to 1080, and hit OK. Now, drag this comp to into this timeline. Now search for bulge, and drag it to this layer. Set horizontal radius to 4000. Vertical radius to 694 and bulge height to 1.3. Let's adjust hip center a bit. Cool. Now click on this layer and press S. Now scale it down to 50%. Now right click and create new solid layer. Select Rectangle Tool, and create a mask. Just like that. Now, increase its feather to 252. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for Fill. And drag it to this layer. Set its color to black. And enable this invert. Also enable its mask to invert it. Now, again select Rectangle Tool, and create a mask. Just like that. Also set its feather to 250. Also, change its composition mode to Multiply. Cool. Let's preview this. Awesome. Also, you can easily change its color if you want. So, this way we have created this seamless typography animation inside After Effects. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.